Hey everybody, Bearded Board Gamer back again. Um, today I'm going to do what I like to call a video rant. Uh, if you know me, you know that I like cooperative games. Uh, there's one cooperative game that gets under my skin, and it is this guy right here. Where to start? Well, I guess I'll start with the obvious. It would be the artwork. Okay, so you get an avatar in this game. Here's the artwork with Malcolm. Looks just like him, right? So if you're not using Malcolm, he goes in the deck. And this is his artwork of him. Sorry about the glare. First of all, terrible. I can oversee the artwork with what's about to come next from me. First episode. So this game is based on the episode of the very pilot episode of Firefly. In the game, it's a buy and then attack kind of game. I always, for some reason, no matter how much I shuffle the episode deck, pull this guy out near the first round. Ten damage it does to your ship. Um, I'm sorry, ten damage it does to you, or it takes to destroy this thing. First episode should not be that hard. I always seem to lose in this game because I want to do it in episodic adventure but I can't get past the first three episodes I feel like this is an outrage to me I have played other legendary encounter games and I've never ever encountered an enemy that is that powerful in the rule book it says you can do a buy round before you reveal the cards on the verse or you can add more side jobs to the deck. My problem is this, if you add more side jobs and you don't succeed in them, you get flaws. Flaws are terrible. And in Malcolm, as I showed you, his avatar says if you getting if you play a flaw, excuse me. If you play a flaw, then you got to add another card to the verse. Meaning, the more cards added out, if there's one pushed into the combat zone and it gets revealed, and you can't beat it, you take damage. So here are a couple samples of other cards from other episodes in the decks. So, the second storyline has the Reaver. The Reaver takes four. Yes, he has abilities, but if you can contain that, only takes four to damage him. This is an outlaw henchman. He is six. Uh, and, and his main ability is if Jane is main character, Stitch strikes him instead of you. Okay, so if... Jane is one of the main players. You don't take damage. Okay. Badger, yes, he's a 12, but he has the ability if you discard recruitment points, it makes him easier. There you go. It's mind-boggling how hard the first episode is. I have many people that don't want to play this game with me because... The game is just so hard. And like I said, I love a challenge in my cooperative games, but if I can't beat it, I it's just mind-boggling how hard they made the first episode. Second, this is a divider. I had to put this on. Cheap dividers. Another bad thing Upper Deck did. Oh, not to mention, you have 600 cards. 600 cards, when you unravel them from the cellophane, you have to separate every single card. It's not in sections. 
you have to go through every single deck and separate them in. I think it's probably a good 40 different dividings. Upper deck, what are you thinking? Now, if they left enough space in the box to do maybe a Serenity uh, expansion to it, all I have to say is if they do come out with it, which I haven't heard anything about it, which they probably won't, um, make it easier. Add some things to it. On the avatars, they have this shield on it. In the rules, it says nothing about using this shield as a defense for when you take a crew strike. Otherwise, it's used for using it for uh, alien or predator. I read online that people use that as a buffer when they take crew strikes. I should not have to break the game to enjoy my games. Upper Deck, disappointment on this game. You know why? I love the Firefly universe. I have Gale Force 9's Firefly the card game. Or board game. Awesome game. Universe in a box. I even have the Upper Deck uh, Press Your Luck shiny dice. It's not the greatest game. I enjoy playing it more than that thing. I don't know. A lot on my chest, I guess, about this one. I was hoping for this game to be great. I asked for it for my birthday. My mother-in-law got it for me. I was excited. And then it fell flat. I've played it numerous times by myself. Can't beat it. Played it with a full set of people. Can't beat it. In the rule books, it's, like I said, it says do a couple buy rounds. I feel like you need to do two to three buy rounds before you start revealing cards in the verse. So you're using all your resources to focus on that and focus on your ship so that way you don't get damage to your ship because five damage to your ship, you're out. Take as much damage to everybody that's on their avatar, you're out. Great thing is, is you can heal the the crew and the ship, but you have to wait till the end of the round. So if you have enough credits to do so, do it, I guess. Uh, like I said, it was a disappointment. Uh, and I don't want to have to break a game to enjoy a game. 10 damage on the first card main uh, enemy. Sorry. All I gotta say is it made me never want to buy another upper deck game again. So... I hope this rant is not upsetting you to not b try the game. I say try it. You might like it. I still like the game. It's just it doesn't get pulled out because of how difficult it is. People say that I've never played Ghost Stories. They say that game is hard. I feel like this game is near impossible. I, I think that this game is probably Ghost Story, Firefly. Uh, like I said, I had high expectations, and you failed me. So, until my next video, and to quote Wayne and Garth, Game on!